In this chapter, we will discuss three methods to determine or evaluate the limit of a function. There are numerical approach, graphical approach, and analytical approach. Right now, we would like to focus our attention to finding limit of a function using numerical approach. As the name suggests, we will use a lot of numbers when we try to determine the limit of a function by using numerical approach. Let's say uh, I'm having this as my limit of a function. For example, I would like to determine the limit of a function as x approaches 2 right we at this moment we don't decide the function yet just to make sure you understand on how to solve or determine the limit of a function by using numerical approach all right as what has been suggested by the author of this slide presentation it mentioned over here inserting an appropriate value of x from left and right. This is by using what we have understand earlier such as the limit exists as long as you are able to show that limit of function of f of x from the left and the limit of a function of f of x from the right is equal. Okay, right now you have two as your x approaches two then you can decide values of two from the left and certain values of x from the right so possible values of x as x approaches two from the left are 1 point zero let's try to discover what are the possible values of x when x approaches 2 from the right basically you can have let me start with two point one two point two two point three until 3.0 alright by considering these possible values of x when x approaching the value from the left and x approaching the value from the right you will see some pattern alright now let's take a look at this example where the author asks us to evaluate the limit of a function of 2x as x approaching 1 by using the numerical approach before this i have explained that we have to decide what are the possible values of x approaching 1 from the left and x approaching 1 from the right as what has been suggested by the author, we will put these values into tables because you are able to see the pattern later. Alright, so in this case, let's sketch a table. Right. Okay, for example... Okay, 
f not fx but x value of fx okay all right so the possible way i'm going to, to take uh, just two values from the left and two values from the right but the rest you can refer to what you have in the slide presentation in this case i'm going to have 0 0.99 and 0 0.999 and then the two possible values of x approaching one from the right i'm going to take 1.01 and 1.1 and then from here i'm going to compute what is the value of a function of f of x when x is equal to 0 0.99 0 0.999 1.01 and 1.1 so basically i'm going to use calculator when x is equal to 0 0.99 function of 0 0.99 is equal to 2 times 0 0.99 and the answer is 1.98 so i'm going to substitute over here 1.98 and 1.998 this will remain mystery this point of time we will decide the value later and then from here i'm going to get 2.062 and 2.1 all right as you can see from the pattern right i'm talking about pattern so as x approaches one from the left you will know that limit of function 2x as x approaching one from the left is equal to 2 as limit approach x as, as x approaches one from the right i'm going to use this purple color limit of function 2x as x approaching one from the right it will converge to value 2 therefore you are able to show that the expression is true such as limit of 2x as x approaching 1 from the left is equal to limit of 2x as x approaches 1 from the right is sharing the same value which is 2 then you can conclude that limit of function 2x as x approaches 1 is equal to 2 and limit exists i hope you are able to understand the explanation that has been given throughout this question now let's take a look at this example 2 where the author asks us to determine or evaluate the limit of a function of sine x over x as x approaches 0 numerically by using radian mode so make sure in your calculator the mode is radian right so the question is very straightforward now you can take a look at this example on your own and i hope you can do all the method or all the process involved all the steps involved in order to solve this problem and towards the end the limit of a function of sine x of x as x approaches zero is equal to one so that is that is the beauty of mathematics now let's take a look at this example all right you are given with function f 
of x such as x squared plus 1 when x less than 0 and x squared minus 1 when x larger than 0. The question asks you to evaluate this function as x approaching 0. Now, these are the values suggested by the authors. So again, let us discuss the solution for this question. The solution. Now, we will use this table approach because we can see the pattern as x approaches 0 from the left and x approaches 0 from the right. Right. Okay, this is x, this is fx. This is zero, negative zero point one, negative zero point zero one, zero. 0 0.01 and 0 0.1 and then again when the values when the values of x are from x approaching 0 from the left for example x is equal to negative 0 0.1 you will take this value or this function which is f negative 0 0.1 is equal to negative 0 0.1 squared plus 1 which is 1.01 so the answer over here 1.01 .01. same goes to x is equal to negative 0 0.01 you will take the first function since the first function is for x less than 0 negative 0 0.01 you will get negative 0 0.01 squared plus 1 which is 1.0001 right you put these values over here and then when you use x as x approaches 0 from the right, you will use the second function instead because the, fun the second function is for x larger than 0. So, when x is equal to 0 0.01, we will use f 0 0.01 which is 0 0.01 squared minus 1 negative 0 0.999 x equal to 0 0.01 f 0 0.01 is equal to Okay, uh, I beg my pardon because there are some areas over here. X equal to 0 0.1. F 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.1 squared minus 1. Where the answer is negative 0 0.99. So you put into the tables. You will see that limit of a function of f x as x approaches 0 from the left you will get 1 but when limit of function f of x as x approaches 0 from the right you will get negative 1 all right since limit of a function of f of x as x approaches 
zero from the left is not equal to limit of a function of f of x as x approaches zero from the right then your only conclusion is limit of a function of f of x as x approaches zero does not exist uh, i hope based on the examples that we have discussed you know how to evaluate limit of a function by using numerical approach there are few exercises under this topic and let's try to solve one of it this question asks us to determine the limit of a function 1 over x as x approaches 0 then we will use the same approach and the same steps that has been discussed in the previous example where we will set up a table and we will pick values as x approaches 0 from the left and several values of x as x approaches 0 from the right and the values are what you have seen on the screen such as negative 0 0.1 negative 0 0.01 0 0.01 and 0 0.1 and right after that you can use your calculator to determine the value of a function of f of x as you can see from here as x approaching 0 from the left the value tend to be very small and as x approaches 0 from the right the value tend to be very large as if they won't converge into the same value then you can simply say that limit of a function of f of x as x approaching 0 from the left is not equal to limit of a function of x as x approaches 0 from the right then the limit of function f of x as x approaching 0 does not exist I really hope you can use your time to answer the rest of the question in exercise.